uh, so that name uh, root on the ground uh, uh, they began to throw down uh, their rocks uh, and walk away through the crowd uh, and when Jesus got through riding uh, uh, in the sand uh, he stood up and looked around and told asked the woman uh, where are your accusers uh, the woman looked around and said there are none uh, for they all have gone away uh, well uh, Jesus said to the woman let me bring it to the lesson here Jesus said to the woman uh, I'll tell you what you do uh, go uh, and sin uh, no more uh, yes and that's what Jesus uh, was telling the man uh, who was paralyzed uh, with hopelessness uh, he was telling the man uh, who he had healed uh, I want you now uh, you're in the right place uh, worshiping God uh, say yes uh, but I'll tell you what I want you to do uh, worshiping God uh, is not the end of it uh, the end of it uh, you must go uh, and sin uh, no more uh, when the Lord uh, forgives you uh, of your sins uh, he wants you uh, to go uh, and sin uh, no more uh, in some shameful way uh, he may have brought uh, his own condition uh, on himself uh, and that's why the Lord told him uh, if you don't stop uh, your sin uh, a greater uh, judgment uh, will come on you uh, say yes uh, I'm going to my seat now uh, finally uh, we find the beauty uh, of this story and verse 8 through 15 we see the delivering Savior in action I've always heard that when Jesus shows up he will always show out isn't that right if you invite him in to your heart he will change that sinful heart he will give you a brand new heart notice here now the command Jesus gave to this man get up everyone who is walking in sin the Lord in his word is telling you to get up get up out of your condition get up for I can deliver you from your condition but first you got to get up there was times when Jesus would catch a man by his hand but this man Jesus did not catch him by the hand but Jesus spoke to the man's heart he wanted the man to show faith and that's all the Lord wants for we are saved by grace through faith faith is God's a merited favor God saves by his own grace but we must obey by faith there is a faith called saving faith this man has some saving faith but when Jesus told him to get up he didn't say I'm paralyzed I can't walk so why are you asking me to get up don't you know that I've been here I've been laying like this paralyzed for 38 years I can't walk I can't move myself but Jesus said get up get up not only get up, but get up and walk. The man got 
got up and began to walk. First, he got up. Something Jesus, sometime I said, took them by the hand. But this man, he told him to get up. I'm so glad that a long time ago, the Lord told George Brown, get up, you sinner, get up, I want you to walk. Many folks think that they are seeing with 2020 vision, but the world is blind today. For Jesus can give light to the blind. For the songwriter said, I once was blind, but now, thank God, I see how good God Almighty. Jesus, uh, Mary, baby, uh, he can bring uh, sight to the blind. Jesus uh, can make you walk. Uh, Jesus uh, can turn you around. Uh, Jesus, uh, the one uh, who died uh, on the cross, uh, the one uh, who was God. Uh, for John said, uh, in the beginning uh, was the word. Uh, and the word was with God, and the word was God. I heard Jesus, I'm trying to close this thing. I heard Jesus say, when they asked him, show us the Father, and it's the fire us. Jesus said, have I been so long? time with you and still you don't know who I am Jesus he is God the creator he is the God who died on Calvary he is the God that was built in a new tomb he is the God that stayed there three days but I'm glad that Jesus before he died he said and Jonah was three days in the heart of the earth so shall the son of man be three days in the heart of the earth and Jonah was three days in the fish's belly but that third day on Sunday morning aren't you glad for that Sunday morning he got up didn't he get up I'm glad he got up with all power all power in his hand he is he is yes, he is. my you. redeemer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He is the one that can bring you out of being paralyzed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He can take your hopelessness away. Yes, can. Young people, I know, wasn't able to walk across the stage and graduate prom and all this. Yes, sir. America seemed as though it was paralyzed. Mm -hmm. But I stopped to tell you. America is not paralyzed because Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. After he got up that Sunday morning, he went on back to heaven and he's sitting on the right side of his father, paralyzed by hopelessness.